The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. He is the one of whom I said, A man is coming after me, who ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. I did not know him, but the reason why I came baptizing with water was that he might be made known to Israel. John testified further, saying, I saw the Spirit come down like a dove from the sky and remain upon him. I did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, On whomever you see the Spirit come down and remain, he is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Now I have seen and testified that he is the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. In the epistle of St. John, we're reminded that sin is the big thing. You know that what he, we know that he was revealed to take away sins. That's what Jesus does. In him there is no sin. And no one who remains in sin, no one whose sin has ever seen him or knows him. We get rid of this sin by completely and humbly submitting to Jesus. The sin is really the, you could say, the pushing away of our dignity in sharing the divinity of God. The dignity that was originally shared with Adam and Eve and in their original sin, they cast it away. It is returned to us by grace. That's a nice word. It's the grace of God. We call it sanctifying grace, the grace that makes us holy. It's the grace given at baptism that restores the dignity and the, perf and the image of who we are that is made in God's image sharing his likeness, that is, sharing his divine life, his divinity. This is a gift given to us. Lucifer, in his pride, did not want to accept this relationship with God where all his beauty and glory came from. He wanted to be unto himself. And so he believed also he could be greater than God himself. In other words, he overstepped who he was. He overstepped his identity. This is called pride. And pride put him into a place where he no longer wanted to enjoy what God was giving him. And rather than annihilate him, God left him to himself. And so he's actually seen as a, an, a horribly disfigured creature. Why? Because he separated himself from divinity. Isn't that interesting? And you see how the world continues to become more and more eroded and corrupt looking. And you see how disease becomes perpetuated because without Christ, the human person is more and more disfigured because it's only in Christ that the source of the truth of the image that we're in comes to us in his grace. And so at the Mass, every time we celebrate the Mass, we get the words of John the Baptist, Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. 
The whole Mass is about that. The whole Mass is about coming into union with the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, who frees us from our disfigured self and liberates us so that we can have the beauty and the dignity we were given in the first place that was taken away by sin. And so, er and so every time we come to Mass and we're saying this, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, Basically, we're saying that at the, the Mass is where we realize that everything is about Him and not me. That's right. And so everything is about Him and not me. To a degree, we come to the Mass to be spiritually filled. We come to the Mass to be nurtured. All good things. But those, are, those technically should be side effects, you could say, of what it is to come and be unified with the Lamb who takes away the sins of the world. And so the priority shouldn't be me, but the priority should be the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. This is what John the Baptist gives us. He dissolves, you could say, or later on in the gospel, St. John would say of John the Baptist, he'd quote him, he must increase, I must decrease. And so we come to the Mass to, in humility, increase in Christ and decrease to the sinful self, the self that wants to push God away, the self of sin. Behold the Lamb of God then, who takes away the sins of the world. Regina Jenny, letare, alleluia, qui aque meruis ti portare, alleluia, resurrexit sicut dixit, alleluia, 